Shut up and sit down. Good evening, folks, and welcome to another night of Hiller Volleyball. I'm Steve Sweetapple along with Matt Clancy, and we welcome you to the quarterfinals of the Division I state tournament. Hopkinton taking on Shrewsbury Colonials. Shrewsbury coming in with a 18-4 record overall, 12-2 in the league. They play in the Midland Wachusett A. Hopkinton coming in at 18-0, 15-0 in league play. Captured the Tri-Valley League. Should be a very exciting game tonight, Matt. Yeah, it should be quite an exciting game. Two pretty evenly matched teams now, it seems. And I'm um, really looking forward to seeing how uh, they both come out tonight. And hopefully uh, we can have Hopkinton get the W. Yep, a common opponent. Um, there are two common opponents uh, against Medway. Um, they lost to Medway and they lost and beat Algonquin. So we're gonna throw it down to the floor for introductions. Central quarterfinals matchup as the Shrewsbury Colonials visit your hometown Hopkinton Hillers. Participating student athletes, coaches, and contest officials have worked diligently to prepare for today's competition. Please show your appreciation by demonstrating good sportsmanship and respect for all in attendance. Ensure that your behaviors reflect the values that should be identified with these student athletes. Assume responsibility for your behavior and those around you. If you require assistance, please call upon a school official. Any verbal, written, or physical conduct related to race, gender, ethnicity, disability, sexual orientation, or religion shall not be tolerated and will subject the violator to ejection. Our great nation has persevered through the leadership and sacrifices of men and women who have served or are currently serving in our armed forces. We invite both veterans and current military personnel to stand. We thank you for your service to our country. And before we play the national anthem, we'd like to announce the participants in tonight's volleyball match. First, from the visiting Shrewsbury Colonials. Number one, Riley McCausland. Number four, Marley Ewick. Number six, Colleen Kehane. Number seven, Heather Darby. Number eight, Sophia Morano. Number nine, Megan Albertson. Number 10, Sasha Brownstein. Number 11, Julia Creamer. Number 12, Joanna Hugh. Number 13, Charlotte Kosky. Number 14, Michaela O'Connor. Number 15, Kathleen Calderwood. Number 16, Victoria Marshall. Number 17, Shayna Minsk. Number 18, Emma Brady. Number 23, Isabel George. Number 25, Abby Kamen. And number 28, Kelly McCausland. The team managers for Shrewsbury are Nicola Lombardi, Alana Costa, and Maddie Duke. And the Colonials are coached by Richard Harrington, Andrew Moran, Amanda Harrington, Joe Ewick, and John Shapazian. And now, for the host, the Hopkinton Hillers. Number one, Catherine Layton. Number three, Mirabella Pellucci. Number four, Morgan Allen. Number five, Hannah Quinlan. Number six, Kate Sestari. Number seven, Angie Grabmeyer. Number eight, Amelia Senseni. Number nine, Melanie Gildea. Number 10, Cassie White. Number 11, Rachel Lorette. Number 12, Caden Boyce. Number 13, Ashley McDermott. Number 14, Kate Powers. 
And number 15, Sam Berenson. Our team managers are Keelan Boyle and Jamie Hart. The Hillers are coached by Margie Grabmeyer, Mary Bransfield, Emma Sweetapple, Tim Pacific, and Mike Miller. If everyone could please rise for the playing of our national anthem. Well, we had a little audio problem there with the national anthem, but the student section carried on admirably. <laughs> so the girls are going through their pregame handshake, and uh, Hillers are going to be a little bit of a disadvantage tonight as Angie Grabmeyer is out injured. Uh, hurt herself on Saturday morning at practice with sprained ankles, so she will miss this game, and if the girls win, she probably will miss, miss the, uh, the semifinal game as well. So. Girls are going to have to step up because they've lost an important cog, Matt. Yeah, they really will. It's state tournament time. It's time for everyone to do their part, and uh, they got to make up those points right now for Angie right now, so we'll see what happens. So out there on the floor for the Hillers, we've got Rachel, Kate, Powers, Ashley, Mirabella, Sam, and Morgan will check in momentarily. And on the floor for Shrewsbury, Got number six, Colleen Keohane. Number 13, Charlotte Koski. Number 18, Emma Brady. Number 12, Joanna Hugh. Number 14, Michaela O'Connor. And number 11, Julia Kramer. So Shrewsbury is going to serve first and get this match underway. Shrewsbury coming off a five set victory the other night against Shepherd Hill. Charlotte Koski serving. Cassie handles that. Rachel outside. And that didn't go over. Millie hit that one into the net. Shrewsbury with the first point of the night. Coach Harrington giving the girls signals where he wants the serve. It looks like they're going back to Cassie. Rachel, bump set, outside, Millie. Oh. Good block at the net. Yeah, that was. Shrewsbury, a very uh, senior-laden team, 12 seniors, and a tall team, too. And a service error there. Side out, Hillers. We'll see what effect the student section has tonight, too. Rachel checks out. <laughs> Caitlin Leighton checking in, and she'll serve. She'll be the setter now. Great nice block. Nice block at the net by Ashley. Great block by McDermott. The girls are going to need that tonight. Tied up at two. Right, 
Free ball here. Uh, too close to the net. Ashley just drops it over. Free ball again. Ashley, Layton, Pellucci kept alive by Layton. McDermott carried. Yep. Double hit. Girls have been, uh, the last couple times, uh, they've been out of system. Catherine's been taking the first ball. She really should let Morgan take that. Oh. oh. Just an unlucky roll over the net there. Yeah, she was great with it. That one just walked up the net and yeah. went over. Top of the net again. Bump set. Nice play from Pellucci. Back row. Morgan settles that. Layton outside. Millie. Nice hustle. Yeah, really nice effort there. Shrewsbury almost got that ball back over. Yeah, O'Connor. Nice effort to get to it. A nice swing by Millie. Hannah Quinlan checks in. And Bub enters as well. Quinlan back to serve. Nice serve. Bump set outside. Little dink over. Uh, out of rotation. Again, out of system. And that's long. Marley Ewick to serve. One of the tri captains. McDermott. Leighton pushes it outside. Bub. That was going out. Colonials did us a favor yeah, there. Yeah, they really did. Kate Powers checks in. Allen back to serve. Hiller's down by one here in the first set. Best of five in this quarterfinal Division I state tournament. Just long. Really close. Good eyes from Shrewsbury. McCauslin checking in. She'll go back to serve. And having to do it over. He didn't, didn't blow the whistle. But nice Good eyes. eyes. <laughs> she almost touched it. Yeah. Pulled back at the last second. Yeah, Hannah even gave Morgan a little hip check just yeah. to make sure Morgan <laughs> didn't try to get to it. Lorette back to serve. Cassie checks back in. Free ball, Morgan, Rachel bump set outside. Good body control there from Bub. Oh, great play from Cassie. Back to Bub. Oh, cross oh. court, what a cut. Oh. Boy, she, she read that cut so that. well. <laughs> she sliced right under it. Tied up at six. Another miscommunication there yeah. by Shrewsbury. Yeah, Setter had a long way to go there. She would have been better off calling for help. Yeah. Nice knuckleball. Morgan. Rachel pushes it outside to Bub. That's a nice block. Yeah, we were talking about it. Shrewsbury's got some height at the net. Side out. Colonials. Keyhane back to serve. 
student section in good voice tonight. Morgan receives that well. Rachel outside. Cassie, nice, nice swing. swing. Great power from Cassie. Uh, they were going for a quick set yeah, there. Yeah, they were. Trying to catch Hopkinson off guard. Good serve from Bub. And that oh. sailed long. Emma Brady just uh, cold cocked that one. Hopkinson with a three point lead here in the first set. Millie gets to that. Rachel, back set. Cassie. Brady was there for the block. Yeah, it just rolled was. over. Nobody was there to pick up the loose ball. We'll go back outside. Morgan. Nice job by Morgan. Rachel. Oh, just out. Nice to go down the line. Nice aggressive approach from Millie, though. Yeah. Joanna Hu checks in for the Colonials, as well as Sasha Brownstein. Sasha will go back to serve. Sam handles that well. Rachel, outside. Nice, <laughs> put away. <laughs> Millie. Yeah, she's had some great swings early. Yep. Good, strong approach. And just swung right through the ball. Okay, Powers back to serve. Boy, it's hot in the gymnasium tonight. It sure is. Sam, Kate, Millie just puts that to the back row. Outside, and a miss, miss hit. hit from O'Connor. Hopkinton opening up a five point lead and Coach Harrington calls timeout here. Just try to get the girls calm. You get the feeling it's going to be close all night, though. Yep. Yep. I mean, the not having Angie on the court is a definite. Uh, Neutralizes things. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it does. But so far, I mean, Rachel and Caitlin mm -hmm. are, are doing a very good job. And it was good yep. to, that Caitlin got brought up a couple games ago, so she got a little bit more exposure on the system. But uh, she did well while she was in there. Totally, totally. And you get, you know, you got Millie going good right now. You get Bub going. Be interesting. So it's Millie, Rachel, Cassie, Ashley, Sam, and Kate Powers out on the floor. Back underway now. Kate floats that one deep. Quick set. Blocked by McDermott. Oh. <laughs> nice block by Ashley.
Well. Fifteen to eight, Hillers in front. Yes, sir. There's a free ball. Oh, McDermott gets it to Lorette. Back set. Cassie. Block. Cassie keeps it alive. Takes the second one. Oh, net violation. Yeah, Shrewsbury's having trouble yeah. on the on, receive on the, of serve. Yeah. They're not getting the ball to the setter. Free ball. Sam. Rachel. Outside. Millie. Oh, nice dig. Nice oh, Sam hits Sam. the floor. Oh, good dump over. That's Great play from Rachel. Monkage is really finding a rhythm right now. Nice heads up play from Lorette. 10 point lead for the Hillers. Nice serve. Powers, Lorette in the middle, McDermott. Nice power from Ashley. The block was there, but they could not handle Ashley's power. Yeah. Megan Albertson checking in. Nice serve. Bump set outside. Just palm deep. Rachel. Cassie. It looks like it was tipped. Net violation. Yeah, this is the scouting report coming in is they had trouble with Shepherd Hill on receive of serve. Rachel. Kate. No, ah. that's for Once again, they were out of system there. Rachel had to take the first ball. And unfortunately, usually your middle hitter is not a good setter. Side out. Shrewsbury. Koski back to serve. 11 point lead for the Hillers here in the first set. Nice save from Sam. Cassie has trouble with that. Morgan gets to it. Rachel sends it deep. Bump set outside. And that's long. Side out, Hillers. And I've seen a couple of those from Shrewsbury tonight. Caitlin checks in. She'll go back to serve. Mirabella enters as well. 21-10. Hillers in front. Nice knuckleball. And Morgan got the arm down, but couldn't keep it up in the air. Minsk back to serve. Sam handles that. Layton. Mirabella with a good swing. Kept alive, and that's out. Hopkinton a couple points away now. They're taking the first set. Hannah Quinlan checks in for Millie. Bub comes in for Sam. Well, great serve. Yeah. 
carry. Twenty-three to eleven. Hillers, two points away from closing out this first set, and Coach Harrington calls timeout. Looks a little, little disappointed with his girls. Yeah, they look a little out of sync right now. Overall, a couple of hits that were too long. They're having trouble with serve receive. He's got to be looking to turn things around in the second set. And Coach Harrington's nickname is Shorty, <laughs> at six seven plus. It's gonna say what you wouldn't He's think by it. looking at him. <laughs> So it's Mirabella, Caitlin, Morgan, Hannah, Ashley, and Caden out on the floor for the Hillers. Two points away from closing out this opening set on a very, very warm night here in the gymnasium. <laughs> they are blasting the heat. Another very good serve from the Hillers. Leighton, McDermott, kept alive. Nice. A on I the, line. the line. Yep. McDermott yeah. again. Ash is having a great first set. And we said everybody's going to have to step up yeah. their game now with Angie injured, and everybody so far has been. They doing really that. have. They've risen to the task. So here we are. Set point for set number one. Another great serve. Blocked. Leighton gets to it. That's a great play Bub. by Leighton. And that's it. Wow. Washington takes the first set 25 to 11. Wow. Very entertaining first set. Not as, not as close as we thought it was no, going to be. No, not as close as we thought at all. I think Hopkins had looked uh, a little out of sorts at the beginning, but really stuck to their fundamentals and got some some great points overall and you know a couple of you know unforced errors by Shrewsbury that led to some Hopkins points but overall Hopkins really took control. So the girls will switch sides and we'll step away for just a minute and we'll be right back. My name is Kurt. My name is Nina. I'm Gunny. I'm Haley. Hi, my name is Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al my gal and we love H Camp. Hey, I want to be a camp. We love H Camp. And I volunteer for H Camp TV. And I watch H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. We love H Camp TV. And we're back for set number two here of the quarterfinal Division I state match between your Hopkinton Hillers and the Shrewsbury Colonials. Hopkinton took that first set 25 to 11. Very entertaining set, Matt. Yeah, it was a really entertaining first set. And like we were saying, uh, Shorty, the coach from Shrewsbury, has got to be unhappy with that, how that went. But I suspect that they will come out and play a better second set. We'll see if Hopkinton can handle it. Take a look at some stats. Cassie and Caden led the way with kills with four and three respectively. When it came to assists, Rachel Lorette with seven. Unbelievable. And when it came to digs, Morgan Allen led the way with three. HCAMP Sports is supported by our viewers and by the dentist at Hopkinton. Founded by Dr. Jill Tanzi in 2003, the dentist at Hopkinton provides state-of-the-art dental care in a comfortable and relaxing setting to patients of all ages. They are located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. So out there on the floor for the Hillers, we've got Morgan, Sam, Rachel, Ashley, Mel, and Cassie. And Morgan will get the second set underway. Sends that deep. And that was in the net. Oh, no, I guess Ooh, Cassie did block it. I guess it. she got a piece of it. I didn't think that crossed. Side out, Shrewsbury. Koski back to serve. And a service error from Koski.
Caitlin checks back in, as does Mirabella. Leighton to serve. Some more trouble with the serve receive. So Hopkinton is without one of their assistant coaches tonight. Coach Tim Pacific and his wife Katie just had twins last week. So we'd like to send congratulations to them and the two boys, Mason and Wesley. Mel just pumps that one to the back. Oh, just rolled down the net. Mirabella and Ashley had the double team that just trickled off the top of the net and rolled down on the Hiller's side. Back set. Mel, nice swing. Yep, she saw that lane. Side out Hillers. Quinlan checks back in as does Bub, Hannah back to serve. Oh, great nice save. by Catherine. Uh, Mirabella. Came with the roundhouse, just couldn't keep it in. That's long. Side out. McDermott back to serve. Kate Sestari checks in. Uh, another serve receiver yeah. from Shrewsbury. Sends that one long. Morgan checks back in. Riley McCausland comes in for Shrewsbury and she'll go back to serve. Catherine. And that was blocked. Nice block from Brady. She had 36 blocks on the air. Hannah gets to that. Catherine goes outside to Bub, cross court. A little dump over. Sestari gets to it, back to Bub. And nice, that's a Bub point. Yeah, very nice swing by Bub there. Great serve from Lorette. This could be trouble. Oh, they get to it. Kate, Rachel. Nice read. No, oh hit the floor. My. Hit the floor. Tried to cover it. Wow. Tried to disguise it and make it look like she did get the pancake, but it, it did hit the it uh, did, floor. It did. Oh, Rachel. <laughs> that was a gutsy play. <laughs> That barely crossed over the net. That was a gutsy <laughs> play.
Down the line. Mel gets to that. Rachel going back to Mel. Good hard swing. Mel picks it off the net. Bub down the line. Outside. That's long. Discussion here. Shorty thought there was a tip at the net. Killer point. Let's see what Rachel's going to do here. Yeah, she's fun to watch serve. You never know what she's going to do. Morgan, Rachel, outside to Bub. Oh, what a block. What a block for that. Boy, Brady sent that one back as fast as Bub hit it. She really did. Side out to the Colonials. And that's long. Good eyes from Morgan. Bub back to serve. Hopkinson back in front by four. Mel, Mel enters the game for Hannah. And Shorty calls a timeout here. So the winner of this match will play Wednesday night at Framingham High School. They'll play the winner of the Franklin Algonquin game, which is going on at Algonquin right now. Hopkinton's the number two seed in the Central West Division I. Needham is seeded first, and that was done on a based on a coin toss. Both teams 18 and 0. So they flipped a coin to see who's seeded first. And Needham won the coin toss. So out there on the floor for the Hillers, front line is Mel, Cassie, and Kate Sestari, back row of Rachel, Morgan, and Bub. Caden serving. Bub dips that one in. Outside, tipped, Mel gets to it. Rachel, back to Mel. Ooh. Oh, kept alive. Great that? play from the Hillers. Oh, Morgan with a great Morgan. save. Put it away, well done, yeah. Cassie. What an entertaining oh, That point. was Mel, I'm sorry. Mel with a great put away. Just relentless. That brought a smile to Coach Grabmeyer's face. <laughs> and Bub just sails that one long. Sam checks back in. Brownstein comes in for the Colonials, and she'll go back to serve. Oh, nice ace. That dipped. It, at the end, it really did. Morgan handles that one well. Rachel, outside. Cassie was blocked. Arm bar, nice save. Morgan gets to that. Rachel, outside, 
Mel, nice. great put away. Really nice set too. Gilday with a great swing. McDermott checks in for Sestari. Morgan back to serve. Just out, just out. Sam got the pancake, Somehow but got to that. Mel was already on the floor yeah. as well. Side out, Shrewsbury. Koski back to serve. And she's serving it to Cassie, or she's been instructed to. And Morgan took that. I think she was a little off balance there. Same thing, they're going to the same spot. That one handcuffed Cassie. Going there again. Coach Grabmeyer is going to oh, call a timeout here. Settle the girls down. Definitely makes it easier too having the four officials for the the state tournament. Definitely does. So the dentist at Hopkinton provides services including comprehensive dental care, same day crowns, facial aesthetics, periodontal care, cosmetic dentistry, and implant dentistry. The dentist at Hopkinton is located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. Okay, let's see what Shorty has the girls doing now. Same thing, going right, right back to Cassie. Let's see if Cassie can handle it. Rachel, McDermott blocked. Rachel nice gets it back over. Bump set outside. Morgan handles that one well. Rachel, that's gonna be close to the net. Nice play by Mel. And they did get Mel for the net. Tied up at 13. And Shrewsbury was able to go on a run there. Just out. Side out Hillers. Catherine checks in, she'll go back to serve. Mirabella checks in for Rachel. Morgan. Catherine in the middle to McDermott. Point Hillers. Nice job by Ashley. Just popped it right over. Morgan, Catherine, 
Mirabella, nice save from Shrewsbury, and double hit. Push deep, Morgan. Yeah, I gotta get that second hand out there. It's tough to get the armbar like that when you're falling away. Side out, Shrewsbury. O'Connor to serve. Mel, Morgan, McDermott. Tipped, Morgan gets to it. Catherine pushes it to Mel. Wow. Mel. Catherine with a dump over. Shrewsbury caught it. Free ball. Morgan. Catherine. Back set. Pellucci. It wasn't tipped. Oh, I think that was tipped. No? No, it didn't look like it. Oh. And Way just a little outside. Side out, Hillers. Quinlan checks in for Mel. And Bub comes in for Sam. Hannah back to serve. Two point lead for the Hillers here in the second set. Hopkinton took the first set, 25 to 11. Great serve. Morgan. Catherine. To Hannah in the back. And out. And Hannah sails that one long. Side out, Shrewsbury. Brady checks in. And Ewick back to serve. Hannah. Oh and that goodness. kept alive. Morgan. Oh. Uh, Catherine's got to yell for help there. Great job. Keep things alive. I did not think they were getting that over. Bump set outside to Bub, goes cross court. And that's Song. Good eyes in the back row. Side out, Hillers. Sistari checks in for Allen. McDermott back to serve. Short set, quick. McDermott puts that one deep. Short set to Brady. McDermott. Side out. Hiller's up by two. McCausland back to serve. Uh, Kate hit that too low. Her approach has to be quicker. Small margin for error now. Floats that one in. Hannah gets to it. Catherine outside. Back to Bub. Nice, nice put away from Bub. Big hole there. She found it. Lorette checks in. Pellucci out. 
Catherine's departing and Cassie's coming in. Lorette back to serve. Lorette, nice serve. Um, back row hit. Hannah gets to it. Lorette pushes it outside to Bub. And another Bub point. Bub coming alive when they need her. Twenty-two nineteen here in the second set. A very hot gymnasium here in Hopkinton. And Hannah can't get to that. Side out Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury still hanging around. Some work left to be done for Hopkinton. Keane to serve. And I, I think Kate coming in kind of distracted Hannah there. And Coach Grabmer calls a timeout here. 22-21, Hiller's in front late in the second set. Yeah, I think you can see this is a pivotal moment right now. Late in the second set, it can change the whole, uh, how, you know, the rest of this match. Assuming there must have been a theme at school today since all the athletic jerseys are all different sports. <laughs> so it's Rachel, Bob, Morgan, Hannah, Cassie, and Kate out on the floor for the Hillers. Girls need a side out here. Morgan, Rachel, outside, Bub, switches back. Morgan, bump set, nice bump Bub set. just puts it deep. And double hit, side out. Mel checks in for Hannah. Bub back to serve, 23-21. Tipped, Rachel. Oh, uh, Mel hit the antenna. Sam will check in for Bub. Brownstein back to serve. Girls need a side out here. Sam handles that well. Rachel, Cassie, good swing. Really nice swing. Uh, double hit. Hopkinton with a set point here. 24-22. Morgan Allen to serve. Bump set, just a push, block from McDermott. Another block from McDermott, and that's it. <laughs> Ashley McDermott with a back-to-back -back block to close out the second what set. Way, what a way to close out that set. Really nice work by Ashley at the net. Hopkinton takes the second set, 25 to 22. Girls are gonna switch sides, and we'll be back with the third set. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get an $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. 
Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. And we're back for the third set here in Hopkinton. The Hillers are taking on the Shrewsbury Colonials in the quarterfinal Division I state tournament. Hopkinton took the first set 25 to 11 and the second set 25 to 22, Matt. Yeah, really nice uh, second set there by the Hillers. Much closer than the first, but they, they really showed that they're able to play as a team, right? They're getting a, a very balanced attack tonight. A lot of different players stepping up without Angie being uh, on the floor. Take a look at uh, some of the stats. Melanie and Caden led the way with three kills each. When it came to assists, Rachel had four. Catherine also had four. Catherine had a great second set. When it came to digs, no surprise here, Morgan Allen had eight leading the way. And out there on the floor for the Hillers, it's Rachel, Morgan, and Sam, along with Cassie, Mel, and Ashley. Coach Harrington using all of the allotted time here to get his girls a little pumped up. Koski will go back to get this third set underway. And a service error to start the third set from Shrewsbury. Not, Side out, Hillers. Yeah, not the way they wanted to start this third set. Catherine checks in for Cassie. And Mirabella checks in for Rachel. And that's in, nice swing. That was one of the few deep kills they've been able to connect on tonight. O'Connor back to serve. <laughs> Mel with a serve-receive error there. service error from Shrewsbury. Hannah checks in for Cassie, Bub for Sam. Quinlan back to serve. Oh, great block from McDermott. Morgan, Catherine pushes it outside. Oh, wow. <laughs> Bub just placed that, and it, and it was it worked out beautifully because the blocker went up and the tip deflected. Yep. It's where nobody was. That all kicked off by actually another block at the net. Oh, nice serve from Catherine, or from Hannah. I'm sorry. Oh, Morgan keeps it alive. it alive. Catherine dumps it over outside. And that's another nice hit. Keane with a good swing. Yeah, Shrewsbury's starting to connect on these, on these kills. Another service error. It's three straight. K. Powers checks in for McDermott. Allen back to serve. Nice knuckleball from Morgan. Bub, bump set. Uh, Bub's not going to be able to do anything with that. Oh, Morgan with a great get. Nice 
swing from Kramer. Side out Shrewsbury. McCausland to serve. Tied up at four here in the third set. Mirabella, bump set back to Pellucci. She goes deep. Free ball. Allen gets to it. Catherine goes to Kate Powers <laughs> with a time perfect. Just about an explosive send back. Lorette checks in for Pellucci. And White for Layton. Rachel back to serve. Nice serve from Lorette. Outside. Bub. Back set. Cassie. That was headed out. But Shrewsbury kept it in play. Nice save by Bub. Oh. Well, that looked like a little reach over. Yeah. I didn't think the ball broke the plane. Outside, Cassie. Nice play by Hannah. Lorette, good put back. What a block, yes! Great block at the net. Cassie and Kate Powers with a double team. I think it was, I think that was all Cassie. Mel checks in, Bub back to serve. Nice point for the Hillers. That was headed for Tom down there on the floor. It was. A good segue too, Matt. We'd like to thank the rest of the HCAM crew that's here. Camera's down on the floor. We've got Tom Dings and Bob, Bob Hamilton. Mary Arnott up here with us. And then we've got Samantha Dings doing graphics and John Ritz is directing us tonight. Sam checks in. Brownstein to serve. And that goes long. That student section's getting loud. I was going to say, we might want to give a little, a little uh, credit to the student section there because they got extra loud. Yeah. Set out Hillers, Powers back to serve. Back row hit. Uh, Sam so gets to it, but the roundhouse went, just kind of shanked it. Yeah. Minx back to serve. Really tight third set right now. Cassie was too far back there. Yes. 
Lorette, back to Cassie. Yeah. Oh, I did not see four hits there. No, I did not either. Yeah, that, that Rachel only hit it once. He's saying that Rachel hit it twice in that segue. Yeah, I think they're going to look at I think Marge's call the same thing. So Shrewsbury with a one point lead. Cassie handles that one. Rachel outside. Mel. Oh, that was, no, that was, that was a, a reach over. over. Definitely. Right in front yeah. of the up that was a reach over. Wow. I don't know how they don't call that. And Cassie's having trouble. She really is. They're picking on her in that back row. Uh, they're going to shift it around now. Good eyes, Sam. Side out. Mirabella comes in for Rachel. Catherine for Cassie. Catherine back to serve. Hillers down by two here in the third set. Hopkinton took the first two sets. Tipped. Side out, Shrewsbury. Uh, you can feel the momentum shifting a little bit here. Darby checks in for the Colonials. She'll go back to serve. Morgan handles that well. Catherine pushes it outside. Pellucci. Oh, nice tip over from McDermott. Nice hustle from Mirabella. Coach Grabmeyer calling a timeout now. Nice. So using her first timeout, it's a good team timeout. Gets, yep, each team gets two per set. So the girls are just a little out of sorts right now. Even when um, when they have been able to get the ball to the setter, it's, the setter is having to move a little too far, and a lot of the sets are not as clean as you'd like them to be. And despite you know three service errors, they're still up by four. Darby to get us back underway. Morgan. Catherine goes outside. McDermott. Kept alive. Sam. Yeah. yeah. Morgan was calling for that. And Sam just took it as well. Nice heads up play from Catherine. Uh, net violation, side out. Let's see if the girls can go on a run here. Quinlan checks in, as well as Bub. 
Hannah will go back to serve. Nice serve from Quinlan. And Bub was there for the block, but still went out. 15 to 10. Morgan, Catherine. Oh, great instinct from yeah. McDermott again. She's having a great game at the net. Uh, and Pellucci sends that one wide. Shrewsbury's definitely got some height. They're playing well at the net. Oh, good play from McDermott. That's just having a great night. Kate Powers checks in. Allen back to serve. Hiller's down five. And oh, that was going oh. out. Shrewsbury did a favor. Oh, Morgan gets to that. Pellucci, nice wow. swing. Great put away from Mirabella. Morgan gets to that. Bump set. Quinlan. Nice swing from Kramer. And for that good deed, she goes out. McCausland back to serve. Hannah. Catherine, Bub, good recovery from Bub. That was way outside. Morgan, back set, Pellucci, long. Just long. Yep, our point. Oh. Into the net. Kehane was in the net. I'll take it. Yeah, the down umpire called it right away. Rachel back to serve. I wonder if she's gonna try to float one. Look at that big opening. Nope, down the line. Morgan, Rachel, outside. Nice, nice approach, swing. great bump point. Slowly closing this gap, that's what we need. Morgan's doing a great job with that first pass, getting it to the setter. Free ball here. Cassie tipped. Nice point. O'Connor checking in for Shrewsbury. Bub, Lorette, back to Bub. Nice arm bar from Shrewsbury. No, they couldn't control not enough, it. Not enough. Tied up at 17. Calderwood checks in.
And Rachel sends that one long. Key aim to serve. And another service error. Millie checking in. Bub back to serve. Tied up at 18. Allen gets to that. Rachel outside. Powers. Short. Morgan, bump set. Millie, good approach. Millie. There you go, Millie. Great swing. Morgan with a great bump set. Yeah, she's doing a great job getting the ball in position for the hitters. Hillers with a one point lead late in the third set. Hopkinton took the first two sets. Sam checks in for Bub. Albertson checks in for Shrewsbury, as well as Brownstein. Brownstein goes back to serve. Tied up at 19. Morgan, Lorette, Kate Powers. Oh, great nice play, Kate. Kate. That wasn't getting by her. Nope. Kate goes back to serve. Ashley McDermott checks in. Nice serve, handled well. Oh, oh hitting error. That is not what you want if you're Shrewsbury at this point in the match. That's long. Oh, nice serve. Hiller's two points away from closing out this match and Coach Harrington calls a timeout here. Great comeback for the uh, Hillers. Really great comeback. They were down by what, four or five? I think point? maybe, yeah, it was at least five at yeah. six. So the winner of this match will play Wednesday night at Framingham High School. And they'll play the winner of the Algonquin Franklin game, which is going on right now at Algonquin. Don't know the time, so check the HCAM website and we'll update it as soon as we know. It'll either be at 6 or 6.30. Okay, Powers, get us back underway here. Serve from Kate, back row hit. Sam handles that well. Rachel, outside, Millie, down the line. There you Great go, point. She's had two big swings in the set. So here we are, match point. Coach Harrington using his last time out. That was a great swing from Millie.
this is uh, the first set was a little easier for Hopkinton, but the last, the second and this set is kind of what we expected. Yeah, definitely. A lot more back and forth. Not as many long runs from either team. So here we are at match point. Kate puts it deep outside. Kate handles that. Rachel bumps that outside. Millie. Oh, great save. Great save. Just pushed over. Kate, Rachel, outside. Cassie, Shrewsbury still in it. Rachel, okay, pop out, bump set. Cassie, that's out. Yeah, you could tell that. Okay, set that bump set out a little too wide. Shrewsbury with a couple of great plays to keep that ball alive. Morgan checks back in. Koski to serve. It's going to go to Cassie. Cassie handles that one. Outside. Millie blocked. Shrewsbury. Not going away easy. Nope. Still match point for the Hillers. Morgan, Rachel, Cassie, just out. And Coach Grabmer is going to call a timeout here. That was a good aggressive approach from Cassie. It was. She just, barely missed that back yeah. line. Just got to come over the top of the ball a little more. She gets a big hug from Coach Bransfield. Got to give Shrewsbury credit here. Fighting off match point after match point. So still match point. Twenty-four, twenty-two. Morgan, Lorette, McDermott, boom, oh. that is it. Great put away from Ashley McDermott. Pillars take the third set, 25 to 22, to advance to the semifinals on Wednesday night against the winner of Algonquin and Franklin. Pretty impressive match, Matt. Yeah, that was an awesome team win from the Hillers. They got contributions from everybody um, in Angie's absence. And looking forward to Wednesday night. So for Matt Clancy, Steve Sweetup on the rest of the HCAM crew, and we will see you at the next broadcast.